So how many text messages did, did you end up getting? Uh, it was it was somewhere around like like 700, 700, 800 text messages. It's, it's crazy. What's it, what's it been like being you here the last couple of days since you guys got back? Um, it's been cool. I mean, everybody on campus is pretty chill about it. Uh, I get a lot of like congratulations, um, high fives and stuff, but it's, it's not too too crazy. Everything is a uh, is a little wild on social media, but on um, campus is pretty chill. Did Jordan Peele respond to you? <laughs> yeah, he actually responded to me this morning. <laughs> what did he say? Um, he was just like, I was just about to say the same thing. He's a huge fan, and stuff like that. And it was a uh, that was some cool to wake up to this morning. So, is that the biggest shot you've ever made in your career? Yeah, definitely. Anytime. Easily. When you started running, what was going through your mind? <laughs> um, I just didn't want to get tackled. That's really all it was. Just, um, I heard about like being at the bottom of the pile. It's definitely one of the worst things ever. Um, but I just was running around and I just gave up and everybody tagged me. And it was just a cool moment. There's a video going around, I guess, of you getting that exact same shot in high school at some mm -hmm. point. Did you remember that? Yeah, Making yeah, I just remember that and I looked at it uh, <laughs> afterwards and that was uh, in the national championship game last year in high school. Um, so it was, uh, that was pretty cool that they put up the second video that I mean, it was almost identical. Any of your old teammates uh, reach out to you, your old high school teammates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jaren, Tugs, and Tiger, we, we got a little group chat from uh, our team uh, last year, and we were talking about it for a little bit, and it was, uh, it was pretty cool. You saw uh, Jaren's team when Michigan State went out the other day, and, and they had a last-second shot, not, not set up the same way. Or yeah. Anything, but do you see that and, and see, okay, it, it can really go the other way real easily? Mm, yeah, um, that just that kind of goes, and that's all in Coach B's hands. Um, he knows how to, to manage his timeouts well, and he knows how to put them in the, us in a really good situation um, by us having a timeout to spare and uh, being able to come over to the to the bench and draw up a play was, was uh, it's just, it's amazing. So with the glasses? Uh, I got poked in my eye um, before the end of the game, last game, and like in the game, like it was watering a little bit, but um, after everything died down, like actually like when I, the sunlight hits my eye right now, it feels absolutely terrible, but uh, we've been working on it and using like um, stuff to see if I can get right. I, if I don't have to use them in the game, I won't, but uh, right now my eyes are a little bit irritated. As a team, you guys have not played as well as you can. Right. So how does that uh, affect your thinking heading into this one? Um, it just shows that how talented we are as a team. Um, our defense picked up a lot, but as soon as our offense starts to click again and uh, we're able to get the defense and offense, uh, offensive side going, it's, it's going to be a, a huge uh, problem for the opposing team. I feel like we're going to be successful. Which eye were you talking The right one. The right one. Yeah. Was that, that was before you got the shot at the end? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I think it was the first foul that I got the second half um, when the guy went to the free throw line or whatever. But, um, yeah, I actually felt awful. Was it, for, yeah, was it bothering you during the last play? Like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny. Um, when, I, when I came to the bench, I was talking to Avery about it and I told him I was like it kind of feels like my right eye had a filter on it um, but then I was looking at the room I kind of was like I gotta suck it up at this point uh, <laughs> everything after that was, was history. So after, would you have made a shot if you weren't poked in the eye? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I made it when I was. <laughs> you aimed at the right one. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Did you get fouled on that shot? Um, I feel like if it wasn't that situation they probably would have caught a foul um, but in a situation like that it's that's definitely a super duper controversial call if the if the ref calls a foul on that. Um, but yeah, I feel like uh, after looking at the replays a couple of times, I was definitely foul. Is that instinct where you're like kicking your legs out? Yeah, I definitely was looking for a foul no matter what. Um, so I can, if I can get to the free throw line and end up having to shoot free throws a, instead of a 25 foot three, it, it'll definitely probably be a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I was I was definitely looking for a foul to see if they gave it to me, but I didn't need that, that uh, in that situation. How many yeah. times have you watched the replay? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> At, at, probably at least like 500 times. So <laughs> <laughs> one for every tag? Yeah, yeah, I look at the videos and uh, I get tagged a lot of videos and um, every time I watch I keep getting goosebumps and butterflies so it's just, uh, just amazing that I get the shot. Does it feel like an out-of-body experience when you watch definitely, it? Definitely, definitely. I'm looking like, I just can't not smile every time I look at it like, yo, like I actually hit that and um, being a freshman and all the stuff that comes with it is definitely super exciting.